Here we're given this quinty polynomial and we want to divide that by x minus 6. Thankfully, this is just x minus a number, so we can use the syntactic division. So let's go ahead and get to work. I will put it down right here for you guys. Let's write down the coefficient. The fifth degree term right here is 1. And then we don't have the fourth degree term, right? So I will just put 0. Then we will have the 4, but there's no x squared. So again, that will be 0 and continue negative 2. And lastly, we have the 1. And because we're dividing by x minus 6, we are going to put a 6 here, right? How we can make this 0? x has to be 6, right? So it's a 6. Or you can just look at this and do the opposite. Here we go. Put the 1 down, and then we take the 6, multiply with the 1, and put it here, which is 6. Continue, we add. 0 plus 6 is 6. Take this, times that is 36, we put it here. We add, we get 40. Continue, take this times that is 240. We add, we get 240. I love zeros. And then take this times that and put it here. Wow, that is 1,440. Not so bad. Lastly, we add them together, 1,438. And one digit times four digits is still manageable, I will say. And let's do it like this. 6 times 8 is 48, and the carrier of 4, 4 times that is um, 18. And then 4 is 2, with uh, 2 over, and then 6, and then 2. So it's 8,628. And this is 1, so we add. So we have 8,629, okay? And this right here is our remainder. So, how are we going to write the answer in this case though? Let's put it in this form. Polynomial, and this is a divisor, and this right here is the quotient, and this right here tells you the remainder. Originally, it was x to the fifth. When we divide it by x to the first, when we do the synthetic division, this right here will start with x to the fourth. So, if you would like, you can label x to the fourth, x to the third power, but you don't have to. You can just write down the answer later on and there's no x. We'll write it down like this. We'll write the answer in this form for this question. p of x equals the quotient, I will just do this right, the quotient of x, times the divisor, and then plus the remainder. In this case, remainder is just a number, but we'll still write here as r of x. But anyway though, so we will just have p of x being equal to q of x, which is that 1x to the fourth power, so x to the fourth, plus 6x to the third, and then plus 40x squared, and then plus 240x, and then plus 1438 times d of x, which is that, which is x minus 6. And don't forget, we still add the remainder, which is 8629, just like that. Okay, so that's it. But you know the beauty of dividing this by x minus 6. And now, and now the beauty of expressing our original p of x, right, this quintic polynomial in this particular form, it's because. Uh, that's it. All right, now, here is the beauty of doing this kind of... Okay, now, here is one. And now, here's one fun thing that we can do. Once we have this expression, notice that we have this giant factor times this little factor, and this is just x minus 6. And we have this right here for the remainder. With this expression, we can actually calculate what p of 6 is. I'm not going to plug in the 6 into all that because it doesn't really matter anymore. So da -da -da -da. Well, I will plug in 6 into the x right here and we have 6 minus 6 and then plus 8,629. But then guess what? This is 0 times whatever that is. I don't know. I don't care. All this is just going to be 0. So we can say p of 6 
thanks to this particular form is equal to 8,629. So this is one little thing that we can do after we have p of x express it in this quotient times divisor plus the remainder form. Would it have been easier if you just put a 6 into the original and compute? Maybe I will leave that to you guys for you guys to judge, but that's it for this.